はじめまして。So welcome guys to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to count the number of characters in a string or in a text box. So let's go ahead and add a text box to this form. So text box. And then we're going to go ahead and add a button. So we could actually rename this button. So to button, let's say button count. And then change the text of the button to just count. And then we could double click on the button to display an event handler. So we're going to declare an int um, variable, which is an integer variable rather, which is int, let's just use count, int count equals to zero. And then we're going to use a for statement to count the number of characters in the text box or in the string. So for int i, we're going to be using i. So int i equals 0. And then we're going to do i is less than text box one dot text, which is the name of the text box, dot length. And then we're going to do i plus plus. And then inside here, we're going to do count plus plus. Please be reminded, count plus plus is the same as count equals count plus one. So it's just adding one to this count variable each time it counts something. So next, we're going to be creating a message box to display a um, to display the number of um, characters that it has counted already when we click on the button count so it's going to be um, the number of the number of characters in the text box is is let's say count yes it's count Let's go ahead and run this application. So let's say rat, and then count it. So it's three. Let's say, <laughs> let's say <laughs> subscribe. Let's use the word subscribe, and then count it. So nine, so it works. So let's go ahead and do the one for string because they are actually different. Text box are different from string. So let's do it like this. Let's declare a string variable. String, let's use nada equals, let's say, um, pen. Let's use a pen. So we're going to come here and change the text box to nada. We're going to delete this dot text. So if it were a text box, if it were a text box, it would be text box name dot text dot length. But if it's just a string, it would be um, just the string name and dot length. So let's go ahead and run this application. So if I click count, of course it's going to show three because here it's just P N, which is um, three characters. So that's how you actually count the number of characters in a string or text box. And um, thank, guys, thank you guys for watching and um, I'll see you in my next video.